Food price is too high? Try gardening. Follow along as Chris shows you step-by-step -step instruction on how to start your own garden with very little time or money. Okay, so this would be another edition of the series that I've been calling the Budget Gardener 08. And today we're going to be planting our seeds. Things such as green beans, onions, peas, carrots, well not carrots, um, corn, things of that nature that are real rigid, plants don't need to be started indoors. You can just put a seed in the ground and chances are it'll grow. So today what you're going to need, you're going to need four things, possibly three, but four things today. Okay, you'll need a pack of seeds, and these are pea seeds. They'll have the directions for planting on the back. You'll need a hoe, a garden hoe. Uh, any hoe will do. I like the ones with the long handles. That way I don't have to bend over so much. A trowel any trawl will do. I think I paid like two dollars for this. And water. Always remember when sowing seeds be sure to plant long after the last winter frost. Okay so I get in the garden I take my hoe okay and before you start sowing or sowing rather Sowing means to plant the seed before you start to sow your seeds. Um, you just want to get it, think mentally, okay, you know, where do I want to put these seeds? Um, you know, where's a good place? Is the, does a plant need full sun or half sun? Can it be planted in the shade? Um, will it have enough sun? And in my garden, my garden doesn't get a lot of sun. It probably gets about four or five hours, maybe even three or four hours in the sun because I have this big tree. And once the tree, once the leaves come out on the tree, I don't get a lot of shade. And I have another tree in my garden. I've been too chicken to cut it down. But with the plants that I'm planting, these rigid in this particular garden all I have is the green beans and the peas and they're very rigid plants and you, it doesn't they're very low maintenance they don't need a lot to grow peas and green beans they're a gardener's dream I tell you you just put a seed in the ground just like corn put a seed in the ground three or four weeks later it'll sprout up you'll have sprouts but anyway alright so I want to make rows Okay, and a lot of people suggest you take um, two sticks, line them up, put a string down, and you can do that, and that's a good idea, and that keeps your rows nice and even, but I don't do that. Um, I'm basically too lazy, and I just don't do it. So, let's get to planning. Okay, what I do is I take my hoe, I start it. And I start pulling, okay? Now for these seeds, I only need to go about an inch down. So this little trench that I'm building right here, this is fine. And I start digging this trench with the edge of my hoe. Okay? Just like that. Now, now I want to do about four of these trenches. I call it a trench. Um, you know, you can call it whatever you want, but I call it a trench. It's about an, as you can see, it's about an inch down. Germinate refers to a seed sprouting. So I was watching another gardening video on YouTube, and they said to soak the 
seeds overnight in water. So that's what I've done. It doesn't say to do that on the back of your directions, but I think that'll help the seed activate and what's called germinate. Germinates when the seed starts to turn into a plant. Sowing is a gardening term for planting. Okay, so these are my seeds and the directions for planting will be right on the back of your seed packet but I'm gonna plant one seed I'm gonna place one seed each six inches apart so there's one plant two three Okay, now I have my seeds in the uh, laying in my trench, and now is the time I want to start fertilize. And I got some horse manure here, which is a great um, slow release organic fertilizer. And I'm just gonna put the horse manure right in the trench, and then cover up my seeds. Okay, now that I have my seeds. I'll saturate my seeds in water. Don't need a whole lot. Okay. Now that I've sown the seeds, now I do that for ever how many rows I want. And you should see a sprouts in about three or four weeks. It takes a lot of rain and water to really get them going, to germinate and see them sprouts, but I'll be sure to keep you updated. Now that Chris has sown his seeds, keep checking back for all the progress at youtube.com slash cmlovejoy. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.